Why is nature always called Mother Nature? Perhaps it's because, like any mother, she quietly manages so much of our living without our ever realizing there's a woman at work. Sometimes things happen whether or not we control them. Let's use this baby wearing makeup as an example. A bright little girl, who knows it's never too early to begin working on your appearance. The story of menstruation really begins with one particular gland in your brain, located directly under your white arrow, called the pituitary gland, also known as the party gland. In our childhood years, this pituitary gland cruises down the road of our minds, traversing the growth hormone highways, shouting out orders to all the bones and tissue along the way, as well as bigoted curse words to any and all foreign bodies. As a girl grows up from blocks, to dolls, to being a secretary or homemaker, the highest aspiration a woman can hope for, her body listens to the pituitary gland. Some girls come from the countryside. Some live among giants. Some sing dwarven songs. And some disobey the government and learn how to read. But there comes a time somewhere between the ages of 7 and 70, when the pituitary gland decides to take a detour on its route to visit the land of menstruation. Maturing hormones are released and menstruation begins. These maturing hormones immediately apply a mental damage debuff to any woman in the party, and targets their ovaries. The ovaries themselves are glands, about the size of almonds, but not nearly as nutty. Beware the ovaries, for they see all of your sins, and just one of their many eyes holds the entire record of how humanity will end. Near the ovaries are the fallopian tubes, short canals which lead to the uterus or womb. This organ opens into the... <clears throat> vagina. Please excuse my language. The... V word is part of the birth canal, the external opening for all of these organs, and also where the urine is stored. This continuous pathway to outside the body is commonly known as the summit plummet. These organs function in a continuous cycle. The pituitary gland sends a series of penis-craving signals which are divided into the yes and no ovaries. The ovary which only tells truths tells the uterus to multiply its cell walls and thicken them. while the one that tells lies gives the cells incorrect directions to get out of the maze. At the same time, an egg, known as an ovum, has been maturing in the ovary. It's hidden somewhere on screen. Can you find it? It's right here. About once a month, some tiny unrelated eggs pass out of the ovary and become trapped in the Philopesian labyrinth. If the woman is receiving some quality dick, the egg might be impregnated, causing it to attach to the uterus. The thickened cell walls act as a low-rent apartment for the egg, complete with night crawlers, for its first few days of its development. However, most eggs succumb to inflation and are properly evicted. This makes that built-up uterus lining only good for one thing. Yogurt. Delicious yogurt, available at your local grocer. So as we now see, menstruation is a series of disgusting, shameful processes that barely make any sense. This cycle only ends when you die, and even then it will haunt womankind forever. The time between periods is usually about 28 days. More importantly, the time between quarters in a regulation game is 15 minutes. Go Patriots! The flow itself will last exactly 3 days. If you experience your period for any longer than that, Something is wrong with you, and you are experiencing a medical emergency. 
For just as the party carrying the One Ring to the fires of Mount Doom all came from different backgrounds, these women are going to throw this dog into a volcano. But what's important for you is twofold. First, that you maintain a fairly regular cycle. And secondly, that you battle Sora for possession of the Keyblade. Try not to throw yourself off schedule by bitching, moaning, and complaining about literally absolutely anything. Everyone will just blame your cycle for it. Of course you'll want to keep a personal calendar. We recommend this 12-month menstruation calendar, which features January as the second month of the year and two Julys. It's not only a handy record of past performance, but will let you optimize your flow for the upcoming tax season. This calendar appears in an interesting booklet called Low Resolution 240p Text That I Can't Read. Among other things, the booklet explores the old taboo against bathing during your period. Why this was taboo, we have no idea. People in the 1940s believe the stupidest things, such as asbestos, the miracle insulator that it is, being harmful to the human body. While bathing on your period, avoid water that is scalding hot or freezing cold. Actually, try to avoid ever doing that. Just how stupid are you anyway? And as for the old taboo against exercise, that's nonsense. Just remember riding a bicycle as a woman is illegal as of 1897. Try something more likely to jostle the crimson tide right out of you. The 50% of you who will go on to be homemakers should take care from exhibiting physical strength. Lest people think you're some sort of pillow biter. Most women will become overly emotional during this period. Let's fast forward this part to spare ourselves the torment of dealing with a crying woman. There, dancing. Everyone loves dancing. Don't worry girls, it's okay to dance on your period as long as you're doing it within designated dancing hours. Exercises to relieve cramps don't exist, and you'll have to suffer with your pain forever. But if you want to slim down your waist for the boys at the sock hop, there's never a better time than now. And make sure to take care of that slouch. The added pressure on your organs may increase your cramping, and more importantly, might damage their black market resale value. One way to help your organs function normally is by having healthy, regular bowel movements. Bowel movements can pass through the uterus, rectum, or bladder, depending on which stage of her cycle a woman is in. Constipation can absolutely mess all of this shit up. Pun intended. You'll find it worthwhile to drink plenty of water, eat plenty of fruit, eat sugary breakfast cereals, Make your husband breakfast so he doesn't have to use the back of his hand. And eat nothing but salad to help pinch pennies in case America faces another recession. It's smart to look smart. Caking on makeup and looking like a Barbie doll, which will be invented in 13 years, is a great way to convey intelligence. Make sure to regularly walk your dog beneath the stereotypically Chinese sun and get plenty of sleep so you can dream peacefully of the fact that you'll never ever be senselessly killed in an overseas war that you weren't even educated about. And that's the story. There's nothing strange nor mysterious about menstruation. You can rest easy knowing everything I told you here today is true. After all, I'm a man of course, so I think I know a little bit more about menstruation than you do. After all, you can't spell menstruation without men. We here at the Disney Corporation can't wait to bring you more riveting period pieces in the future. Good night. There's a ton of swell links to check out in the description, including links to my second channel and a place where you can buy energy drinks while directly supporting my YouTube career. 
thanks.